Hi, I'm Sabin Yaakov. This presentation is entitled Stored Energy in Nonlinear Inductors. This is a riddle inspired by a comment of Professor Chuk. In a recent LinkedIn post, Professor Chuk declared the following. The derivative inductance and energy-related inductance are just fiction. Fictional inductances are in, and here is a link to an open access paper of mine. I'm going also to print this link at the comment section of this video, so you can click on it and get the paper. So the riddle is related to the energy-related inductance. This is the subject of this riddle. Now we know that the classical equation for the energy stored in a linear inductor is energy equal to Li squared over 2. This is very well known, of course, and used widely. But the question is, what happens if the inductor is nonlinear? So here I'm showing a BH curve of a ferrite material on which an inductor is built. Okay, this is the core, and this is the BH of the core, which is nonlinear. That is, we have here sort of saturation region and we have a curvature here and of course the derivative here is the permeability usually it's shown only the relative permeability but the total permeability is the product of the two and the inductance is linear with this permeability so consequently what we see here as we look at the current of the inductor which of course is linear proportional to the H, or the H is linear proportional to the current, then we see that the inductance starts with given value and then it drops. Now suppose I am at this operating point, which corresponds to a magnetic field of H sub 1, which of course is related to the current that causing it, which is I sub 1. And here I'm showing this I sub 1, and this will be the, the inductance at this particular point. So the question is, what is the energy stored in the inductor when the current is indeed I sub 1? This is the question. And consider the fact that this is a nonlinear inductor. I'll be happy to read answers. I'll try my best to answer all of them. And eventually I'm going to provide explanation and answer in a forthcoming video. So I'd like to thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found this riddle of interest and that you'll give it a try.